do a true ending to Countdown to Christmas because it got so crazy and I started him painting again. But I still wanted to do a what I got for Christmas video. And like always, I'm not bragging in any way. I just wanted to show you guys because I love watching these videos. So let's get started. I'm going to start with what my parents got me. And the first thing is what I'm using right now. And it's a 32 gig memory card. Because I had a 16, but my it broke when I was trying to put it in the computer. And so now I have a 32 because I was using my 4. And I was literally having to do pieces of videos and then upload. Pieces of videos and then upload. So now I have twice as much memory. So... And then the next thing is a 2016 Florida Gator calendar. And I don't know where I'm going to hang it yet, but I'm definitely excited for this. And the back looks like. Can you get it? Yeah. I got it? Yeah. Here's what the back looks like. I'm I haven't opened it yet because I don't want to open it until I figure out where I want to hang it up at, but I'm excited to use it. Uh, was this 2000, okay, was this 2015 bear? I love these bears and I always plan on getting myself one after Christmas when it goes on sale because they're not exactly the cheapest thing in the world sometimes. But this year my mom found, or I found smaller ones, and my mom decided to get me this one, and it's very soft. And I love stuffed animals anyway, so this is right up my alley. Even though I don't already have 500 of them. And, um, then my mom got me this Family Feud board game. Um, I love Steve Harvey. I've loved Family Feud, <coughs> even the older ones, when, um, Richard Dawson was the host. And, but I absolutely love Steve Harvey. If I had to pick between the two, it would definitely be Steve Harvey. Especially the video, uh, Naked Grandma. Go look that one up. And Brittany's behind the camera and she gets that one. So, go look that one up. That's my favorite clip from Family Feud. But yeah, I'm excited to play this. So, and maybe while Brittany's here, we can play it. And then, um, my mom also got me some other mitts. These are really cute. Um, because I needed some more, and I can never use just one, I have to use two, so she got me, I guess like a matching set, I don't know if they were both in a set like this, or she just took two different sets, but anyway, they're really pretty. The next thing that they got me was this apron, and it's kind of Christmassy and not something I would wear year-round, but it is really pretty, and it's got these Christmas trees up top, can you see it? It's got these Christmas trees up top. And then it has like a big front pocket and then the bottom has the same sort of style design as the oven mitts. And I also, one last thing I got from my mom and dad was a uh, VCR DVD combo because mine, I've had mine for like 8, 10 years and it finally quit working and wouldn't play like it was supposed to. So they got me that. and as a family gift because when we tried to hook up the DVD player um, it wouldn't the cord that you hook it up to the TV with the actual cord from the TV is shot so my dad went and bought a new TV so that's kind of like a family gift and I'll insert pictures of those somewhere in here okay now on to the gifts that um, other people got me um, my second mom we were really close, had been close for many years. She actually started out as my bus driver and was my friend when I didn't have any and now she's like a second mom to me. She got me this and it's a giant rainbow colored a zebra, right? Yeah. Rainbow colored zebra print body pillow. And it's it's massive and it's I have a small bed and it's too big to fit on my bed, but I've been using it or like when I have pain just to prop up against my stomach to give me something to like lean on like I'm kind of doing right now um and it's super soft it's like a, a plush fleece material and I was actually with her when she bought it because they have only three on the shelf and she took me Christmas shopping for mom and I was watching and I wasn't paying her any mind and when I helped her load everything up into our van I said I'm still in your pillows because it's so soft because she bought three of them she said no you're not and she gave it to me on, for Christmas. I said, you didn't have to do that. She said, I was planning on it anyway. You didn't know who it was for. 
she bought three, two for herself and was going to give me one. But she didn't tell me that when I said I'm going to steal it. I thought she was just giving it to me because I said I wanted it. But come to find out she was going to give it to me anyway. And it's massive and it's huge and it's soft and I love it. Okay, and then from a family friend who is like my aunt, um, she got me. And this is kind of funny because I've seen this at Walmart. And I couldn't decide between getting uh, this particular one or the uh, gingerbread ornaments one. But she, uh, but I wound up getting the gingerbread ornaments one. If you want to see that video, I'll link it down below. She got me this. Can you see it? And it's basically kind of like what I did with the gingerbread ornaments, except these aren't ornaments. These are just cookies. Um, and it's ugly Christmas sweaters. And so, and I doubt very seriously she's seen the video because she's not the type of person to do the whole YouTube thing and watch videos on YouTube. So I wonder, I just wonder where she got the idea from. But I'm so glad she did because I kind of wanted to go back and get the other one. But I never did get to, so I'm really glad she got it. So thank you. And last but not least, oh, what's that I got from Brittany. And she always does an amazing job every year. And I wanted her to come on here with me and show you guys what I got her. But she said, no, I'm not coming on here in my pajamas. Uh, so it's no worse than what I do, but anyhow. So, um, I wanted to show you what she got me. The first thing was, she said, I'm going to have to explain this one to you. And she was right, because I had no idea what it was. Um, it's this little pillow. You see it? It's this little pillow. And, um, you put your iPad into these little, little holes right here, and it holds it for you. And you can set it up on a table or chair or whatever and she said she thought about it whenever I'd be doing recipes and stuff I could prop my iPad up which is perfect during Christmas time because I'm always needing my iPad to look up different cookie recipes and things like that and this also turns into a neck pillow but I'm not going to tip that on camera um I'll just take a picture of it and show you guys but um this is my favorite color too so she did a really good job straps in the back where you can like it's a real stretchy and you can hook it to like the back of someone's car seat if you're in the back seat when you're going somewhere and riding I want to watch a movie so that's really cool but I don't ever ride in the back because my accessible seat is up front but it's still really cool and I'll take a picture of this as a neck pillow and insert it in here somewhere I'm not going to attempt this on camera because Brittany had a hard time doing it last night but it's still super soft and you could I think you could actually actually get away with using it as a regular pillow too because it's really soft and last but not least, she got me a monogram mouse pad. You see it right? And it's identical to hers, except hers hers has the same design, and hers has the it's, it has a B and it has her name in it here. But other than that, it's pretty much the same, and it's awesome because I needed a new one. So thank you, Sissy. You're welcome. <laughs> Santa did a really good job. And that was everything I got for Christmas this year, and I'm very thankful for everything. And yeah, it's not about the gift for me. Um, it's about family and Jesus' birthday for me. And I'm grateful for everything and just the time with family. And I hope you have had a wonderful Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, if you had a wonderful whatever holiday you celebrate, uh, leave me a comment down below telling me what was your favorite, either memory from this this holiday season or your favorite gift and I'm going to there were a couple of videos that I didn't get to do during the countdown to Christmas series 364 days till Christmas y'all <laughs> there was a couple of videos there goes my voice I'm losing my voice y'all it's, it's bad I'm starting to sound like Mickey Mouse so if my voice goes in and out that's why I didn't get to film for a countdown to Christmas and I, but I figured I could get away with going ahead and filming them now because as long as they're up before the 1st of January because I like still watching Christmas movies and such until January. After January, like after the 1st, I don't think it's okay anymore because it's like, it's not the Christmas season anymore and it's kind of weird. So I still want to try to, I think there's what, one, two videos that, two, maybe three videos that I wasn't able to film during Countdown to Christmas that I still kind of want to do um, that aren't exactly supposed to be like Christmas, just the Christmas season. So uh check out stay tuned for those because i'm hoping to get them up and <laughs> um if my tongue and my lips are ever blue 
or if my tongue and my lips are blue in this video and in future videos, well, um, it's because I'm on a new medicine for my interstitial cystitis and it literally dyes everything blue. <laughs> it's, it's bad. Um, I have to crush all my medications and when I crush it and I have to put it in applesauce to be able to swallow it because my cerebral palsy won't let me, it turns the applesauce like, um, it looks like blueberry jelly. I'm not kidding. And I wish it tastes like blueberry jelly because then it wouldn't be so hard to swallow. But it tastes vile. Um, but it turns everything blue and I mean everything. And, but it's supposed to help with the IC and it's helping a little bit. So y'all keep your fingers crossed and pray for me that this, this will, this will help because I mean, at this point in time and like I explained how my pain goes during the month and when it's worse and when it's manageable but at this point in the month usually I wouldn't be sitting here right now I'd be you know doubled over in pain but yeah you know, I think the medicine even though I have had a few bouts of very severe pain is helping so um and I've only I've only been on it for about four days so that's a good sign so I'm hoping it works and I will be doing an IC update probably sometime in February because I go back to my daughter in January. So, and I hope that I won't need to take any further medical intervention because my next options are pretty much surgical options and I don't want to go there. So just keep me in your prayers and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!